Creating modern and functional web forms on your WordPress website used to require you to be a genius in quantum physics, or at the very least a web developer, but not anymore. So in this video, in less than 8 minutes, I will show you what you need to know to create beautiful web forms with a free WordPress plugin called Shareforms. And Shareforms allows you to create web forms that look stunning without knowing how to code. Okay, so first here I'm in my WordPress install and I'm going to go to plugins, add new plugin. Then in the search field, I'm going to type sure forms, click install now and activate. So here we are on our website. Let's go to the contact page. And as you can see here, we already have a form pre-installed. Now to edit this form, let's go back to our dashboard, then go to sure forms, forms. And here is our contact form. So to edit, click on edit. Now, let me close this. And here we can see our fields. Now here on the left side, you see a bunch of blocks that we can add. And we can add even more if you click on the plus sign here. Now let's make it simple. Let me select my field here. And I'm just going to click on a text block. So here it is. Now, if I want to delete a block, all I need to do is click on the three dots and hit delete. I can also hover over my block here, click on the three dots and duplicate. So for example, I can rename the first one to first name and the second one to last name. I can also change the width. So by clicking here on the field, let me choose 50% and same for the second one, 50%. Now let me hit save. And if I go back to the front end and refresh, there you go. You can see the changes reflected here. Now that was for the manual way, but Shareforms also comes with AI capabilities. Let me show you. So if you go to Shareforms, Forms, then click on Add New Form. Here we can either build from scratch, but we just saw it with the previous form, or we can generate with AI. So let me do this. Now you get a bunch of AI generations, even with the free version of Shareforms. Next, describe the form you want to create. So here I've pasted a description. And if you're using the Safari browser or Chrome browser, you can even use voice input. Next, click on generate form. And there you go. In just a few seconds, this is what we have. Full name, email address, phone number, and service you're interested in. This was part of my prompt. It's an inquiry form for people interested in our web design services. Now, every time you click on one of the elements, you have options here on the right hand side that you can change. Now, these options are pretty self-explanatory. Now, let's click here on the submit button. And then here, so I'm in the style tab, and I'm gonna click on the button sub tab. And here where you see button alignment, I'm gonna make it full width. Next, I'm going to click on publish and publish one more time. And before we move on, let me show you something. So right here, you see email notification. And if I click on it, I can click on the pencil icon. And by default, it's going to send all the email notifications to the WordPress administrator email. But you can change this. All you need to do is just remove this and then you can add a different email address. You can even add more than one. Just make sure it's comma separated. So let me put it back the way it was. And let's close this. And of course, for each change you make, don't forget to save. Now, let me go back here. Then I'm gonna hover over the name of my website, click on visit site, then go to the contact page and click on edit page. So let me scroll down. And here we can see a short code for the share form we currently have, but we wanna change it. So I'm just gonna click here on the short code, hit the three dots, Scroll down and hit delete. And next I'm going to click on the plus sign here. And I'm just going to start typing sure forms. So here it is. Let me click on it. And now I can select the form. So click on the drop down and here it is. Design services inquiry form. Click on choose. And here is our form. So let me hit save. And now if I go back to the front end and refresh, there you go. You can see our inquiry form. Now let's pretend we are a potential customer. So we get to the website, we go to the contact page and now it's time to fill in that form. So I'm just going to fill it in. And there you go. Now once a form is filled in, as we saw a notification email is sent, but not only. So if we go back to the WordPress admin, let's go to short forms, entries. And as you can see, each form entry is also stored right here in the WordPress admin. 
Now by default, it shows all form entries, but you can select per form. So here we have two forms, our design services inquiry and our simple contact form. Now let's say you want to export all the forms from the design services inquiry form. Just select this, click on filter. Now it's not going to change anything because you only have one form filled in here, but you get my point. Next, you would select all the forms, then click on bulk actions and export. And that's the way you can export to any other tool and use it, for example, for a spreadsheet. Now, in the case of a newsletter signup form, which you can totally build with sure forms, you could either use this export feature to connect to your marketing tool of choice, or you could use the built-in integration tool if you're using the premium version of sure forms or the AutoKit plugin, which allows you to connect to hundreds of apps in just a few clicks. Now, one of the great features of sure forms is called instant form. And that's awesome if you just want to create a quick form and you want to share it easily without having to create a full page. For example, if we go back to our design services inquiry form, you can see here in the top right corner, instant form. So let me click on it. And first of all, you need to enable the instant form. And next you can enable preview. And there you go. Here is a page that we can share as is. Now we can enhance it a little bit. So instead of a background color, I'm going to click on image, then click on change image. And let me select my main image here, then hit select. And now if you scroll all the way to the bottom, here is the URL of our new instant form. So I can just click on this icon here to copy. And next, let me scroll back up. Let me disable preview so that I can save my instant form. And next you can change that form address. And if we open a new browser, let me paste this address. And there you go. In just a few clicks, you can share a beautiful web form without knowing how to code. Congratulations, you can now easily create stunning web forms in no time with sure forms. But if you need any help, take a look at our knowledge base if you need a quick answer to any questions you may have about sure forms. And if you want to know more about sure forms, you may want to take a look at this video on the Brainstorm Force YouTube channel.